Welcome Aquarius to your August reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. Aquarius, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Aquarius, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first message you have, my dear Aquarius, is justice. And justice is a strong, good energy to come in because it tells us that somewhere in August, the energy of balance, fairness and harmony is coming back in where it might have been missing before. So this could be on a literal level, my dear Aquarius. There might be a legal situation or something to do with the law. It could be a negotiation. It could be some unfairness going on around you. But with justice coming in, we are going to see a shift and a change coming through there. So once I pull the tarot, we will see what that is all about. You then have number 25, round and round. Now Aquarius, when we get the message round and round, it talks to us of a situation that keeps coming up and keeps repeating itself over and over again. There's something that you need to do in August to break a pattern or a behavior or something that keeps coming up that is not beneficial for you. So it's going to be so interesting to see what that's all about. And finally, we've got confidence coming in. And confidence tells us that somewhere, my dear Aquarians, where you might have lost your confidence, where you were feeling some kind of insecurity and inadequacy, something is about to change and shift for you that you're going to get a surge of confidence. So I'm going to start off over here with justice and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. Right, let us see now what this justice energy is for Aquarius, please. And we have got Eight of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Aquarius, I'm going to take one more card here for you. I want to see if I can just get some deeper insight into what this is for you. Wow, what very big energy we have coming in here, my dear Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, I'm not getting a very specific area where it's coming up. And that's understandable being a collective reading. But I am being told very clearly that if you find yourself in any situation, my dear Aquarius, that feels unfair and unjust, and this could be a recent situation, it could be something that's been going on for months, whatever it is for you, Eight of Cups tells us that in August you are able to leave behind what this is for you. You turn your back on it and you walk away from it. Eight of Wands tells us that this is going to happen very quickly for you. So whatever this situation was for you, you're going to get out of it quicker than you can imagine. We've got Eight of Wands coming in, which is a very fast moving card. So it tells us within a matter of days, in August, you're going to see things coming to an end. And it's not even going to take a full month by the time this ends for you. Aquarius, this of course is going to be so different for everybody. If you find yourself being treated unfairly, whether it's with your significant other, your family, 
your friends at work if there is a feeling of injustice and unfairness and there's a big imbalance you know it could be my dear Aquarius that you have been the one that has been carrying the workload say at work and your boss and your colleagues just keep passing the workload on to you and you're just burdened with an insurmountable amount of work it could be that your significant other is going through a period where they're just demanding a lot from you and they're expecting a lot from you. It could be the same thing within a friendship circle. There could be a particular friend that is just asking a lot of you at the moment and is not giving you reciprocal energy and you have been feeling this energy of the imbalance for some time. We see in August that you are walking away from this situation. Now, Aquarius, this walking away is going to be very specific to you. Some of my Aquarians might address this with a particular person concerned and just let them know, listen, this is not on. I'm not going to be accepting this behavior. There has to be more balance here and you sort it out. It could be that circumstances change, that you leave your job, you leave a relationship, you move on from your significant other. Everybody will be so different. But my dear Aquarians, you are leaving it behind. And with that, there is a big change and a big shift coming into your life. The big energy I'm getting for you, Aquarius, is that you are instigating and initiating this energy of bringing balance and harmony back into your life. You know, my dear Aquarians, you could find yourself in a situation, say, with your significant other, where all of a sudden you find yourself carrying the load of all the expenses. Maybe you earn more, maybe they've lost their job or they're looking for a job. There is an incredible expectation on their side that you will take care of everything financially. Now, of course, you're happy to do that for a few months, but after a while, when somebody starts to take advantage of that, the energy of unfairness kicks in. And this would be the month where you would now step up and say, I'm sorry, this is no longer acceptable. You have to now find a way where you can assist me. I'm working 10 hours a day to cover everything I understand that things are challenging for you, but perhaps you can just find an interim job or some part-time work to contribute. You will find your way, Aquarius. You're going to end the imbalance. And with the world coming out here, please anticipate a big change, a big shift. You're leaving whatever this was behind and it's happening exceptionally quickly for you. So this is a very positive change we see coming in for you. Let us move on now and see what round and round is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what round and round is all about for Aquarius, please. And we've got the King of Swords and the Six of Cups. Aquarius, there is somebody coming through here presenting as King of Swords. Now this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of King of Swords I am speaking about. Now Aquarius, this is somebody who has been in your life for many years. So this could be a family member could be a friend you've had for many years. This could be a boss or a business partner that you've been connected to and worked with or worked for for many years. It's somebody, my dear Aquarius, who's been around for a long, long time. Now, this King of Swords could very well be the person involved in our justice situation. And then again, for some of my Aquarians, this is going to be a separate scenario completely. King of Swords, Aquarius, can be quite a harsh king. You know, this is the king that is very mentally based. So he is incredibly smart. He's calculating. He can be quite manipulative. 
And I think that this person has been coming in and playing a role in your life, Aquarius, that has almost taken advantage of the history you have. So if it's a family member, they come in and they use the family connection to take advantage some way or treat you unfairly in some way. They keep coming in and doing something that's not right, my dear Aquarius. That's the only way I can put it. And of course, because we've got round and round, it keeps happening. Now, what I see from your side is you are very aware of this, my dear Aquarius. It's not like this is going to be news to you. You know who this person is. You know your connection to them and you know what I'm talking about. It's because when they do this, you probably will get very angry and very hurt. And you think to yourself, that's it. I'm going to end this. I'm going to close this down. I'm going to shout at this person. I'm going to really put them in their place. And then it even might come to loggerheads. But because there is this long-term connection there, you forgive them. Every now and then you let it go. And so the pattern keeps repeating and keeps repeating. In August, my dear Aquarius, you are being asked to end it. To put an ending to what our King of Swords keeps doing to you. And the only way you are going to end it, my dear Aquarius, is if you don't allow it to happen. Now, you do not have to go into battle with King of Swords. You know, King of Swords is a hard king to go into battle with because they can be quite slippery and they're very good at gaslighting and manipulation. But you, my dear Aquarius, have got something that they can't take away from you. You know. You know who they are and you know what they're doing. Like I said, you do not have to go into full-blown combat with them. And of course, if this is somebody that is still going to be in your life, if it's a family member or a boss, you have to be smart about it. It's up to you now to very smartly to meet our King of Swords smartness and raise it. Be very strategic now, my dear Aquarians, because you are now ending this and King of Swords is not going to be overtly aware of what is happening. But you are going to be doing something very different. You are not going to get involved in the King of Swords scenarios and games. You are taking yourself out of it. So when that similar situation comes up and you feel the manipulation coming in and you hear the same words and you hear the same gaslighting energy coming in, stop it. Simply say, no, I'm not doing this again. And you don't have to say another thing. Just take yourself out of it. Oh, my dear Aquarius, if they're too slippery, just refuse to get into that spiral and play their game. So they can start initiating it and you did this and you said that. And why did you do this? Don't even respond. End the cycle. End the spiral. You have the capability. You have everything you need to do it. This is why it's come up. And my dear Aquarius, you know who you're dealing with. You will know the best way to deal with this person. Like I said, for some of you, it just might be a few strong words like, no, I'm not going down that road again with you. Or it could be that you simply don't respond when they try to provoke you. There's something very powerful, my dear Aquarius, about silence. And that might be the perfect thing to work with when it comes to that King of Swords because he's going to try and bait you and he's going to try and provoke you. He wants a reaction. And my gosh, if Aquarius is just quiet, doing their own thing, what is he going to do? The spiral will have to stop. So please take this in an area where it might resonate with you. Right, let us move on now and see what confidence is all about and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now. This energy is for Aquarius, please. I 
and we've got judgment and we've got strength. My dear Aquarius, August is a very big month for you. You, my dear Aquarius, are claiming back your strength, your personal power that might have been taken from you with regards to this justice scenario and our round and round situation. You are answering the call of our angel's trumpet. You are saying, yes, I know what is happening. I am aware of who is doing what and I am not going to tolerate it any longer. And we saw that right from the beginning are standing up for yourself, Aquarius, and in your own way, with your own special personality, skills and traits, you are going to put all of this into play. Please do not doubt your own inner strength and capabilities. At times it might feel a bit overwhelming and frightening, especially if you're dealing with somebody with our King of Swords energy, who is the master manipulator. But my dear Aquarius, you know who you're dealing with. Once you start working with it, once you're in this situation, you're going to manage it with ease. You're going to put our King of Swords in his place and you're going to do what is right and best for you. And what I love to see for you, my dear Aquarius, is that by you doing what's right for you, taking action, confronting situations head on, your confidence is going to soar. You're going to really start believing that you can take care of yourself. You can manage who and what comes your way. Because basically at the end of the day, you've got you and you will not let you down. Very nice to see my dear Aquarius. Right, let's move on now and get a message from your guides for the month. So we just want to see now what Aquarius's guides would like to share with them, please. And you've got priorities, Master Teacher. Aquarius, Master Teacher is coming in and asking you now to prioritize what you want to see happen and play out in your life. You need now to put away any energies of injustice and unfairness, any energies of somebody that might be taking advantage of you and manipulating you in any way, put that all in a box, seal it and leave it behind. Because my dear Aquarius, you have a wonderful new road to travel, a new road where you are free to be you, where you are free to spread your wings now and do what's right for you. It's time for you, Aquarius, to walk down your own road, a road where you are now able to take care of yourself, to bring into your life things that are going to fill you up, bring you joy and contentment, and this is where Master Teacher wants you to go. Prioritize now of what you want in your life, focus on that, and leave the rest behind. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I am sending you all so much love.